Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for another book tag. I'm really feeling the tags right now. I don't know why, they're just really fun for me. So this one is perfect for me because we all know that I love talking about beautiful books. I buy a lot of books just because of the cover. Guilty, totally guilty of that. So this is the Aesthetically Pleasing Book Tag. This was created by Book Sierra Pua. I'll leave linked down below with her original video for this, but this is just talking about the actual aesthetic, like the actual physical covers and factors that go into an actual book. Nothing to do with the story, just the beauty that is books. So jumping right into the tag, the first question is the best color combo on a book cover. For me, I love green and white covers, and they're not common at all in YA, so the only two that I have to hold up for you are The Darkest Part of the Forest, and Blue Lily Lily Blue. I love these covers. I love them so much. I just really like the really rich like foresty grassy green on a really clean white cover. I just love that aesthetic. That's like kind of the look that I go for on my bookstagram account also. I just really love kind of the messiness of nature with a really clean white slate. So definitely green and white. Question two is the best typography slash font on a cover. And I could literally go with like anything because I love the font on covers, but I adore the font for Never Night in God's Grave. It's just so unique. And I know, I think he has somebody who actually designed the font for him for these books. I just love how harsh and sharp the lines are, but they're also very like curvy and organic looking. I just love them because it makes it very like, harsh and bloody, but pretty at the same time, which I think fits the stories really well for these. So definitely these. Number three is best simple cover. And this one was kind of hard to narrow down, but I have to go with This Darkness Mine by Minnie McGinnis. I adore this cover. Again, it kind of goes with a really clean white thing, but we definitely have a slash with a person like peeking through the slash on the cover. And it's very fine, like normal font going across it. I just love how simple this is, but it's very ominous and menacing looking. And it actually continues like onto the back and on the spine. I just think it's the most simple design touch to it, but it totally encompasses this story. It's awesome. Question four is where I start to pick multiple choices for my answers here. So number four is the best end pages. And recently the one that popped into my mind was the Hazelwood. I just love the end pages on this. This book is so whimsical and I love that the end pages match the actual cover of the book. <sighs> I love this book. I'm going to talk about it soon in a video, I promise. And the first book that popped into my mind when I read this question is one of those books where like I opened it and I was like, mm, those are some end pages. And that is The Thousandth Floor. Isn't that just amazing? It's just gold glittery swirls and it looks so awesome. It looks delicious on the book. <sighs> I love it. It's so good. Question five is best map. And for this one, I have to include this book somehow, but that is going to be the map in the Akatar series just because I looked at it constantly. So it's one of those maps that's really like ingrained in my head, but it's just very simple and yet it encompasses everything about the story in it because you're constantly looking at where all the courts are in relation to the fairy realms and the mortal lands. <sighs> I just love it. I probably just because I've looked at it so much when I read this series, so that's probably why, but that's okay. Question six is the best naked hardback, and we all know I love that. I love looking at books when they're naked, because, you know, I'm a perv like that. But one of my favorite covers of all time, and is one of my most bitter cover changes that they've ever done, was for The Diviners, because this cover is just everything. This is one of my favorite book covers of all time. And then they had to go and change it. But this book is also equally as beautiful naked. It's just so lovely and nice and simple, and I just, I adore it. And a new addition to my library that I adore the naked hardcover of was only released for the first edition so go get it if you want this version but that is for the wicked deep this is what the actual cover looks like which is beautiful on its own but the first editions got released with the moon and stars on it and i just love it i love it so much question sever is the best back cover which is the part of the cover that doesn't get that much love. So going with that, I could go with the entire Throne of Glass series because I love that it shows Aelin on the front being super badass and awesome and tough looking, but the backs of all of those books are her in a dress. So it kind of shows the like different parts of her personality. I love it, but I'm not gonna hold up the entire series. And I'm gonna kind of cheat on this answer because this is a book that I just hauled and I still can't get over this cover, but it's also kind of cheating because I wanna talk about In Unkindness of Magicians by Cat Howard, because this is one of those covers that wraps all the way around to the back of the book. And you get to see more of the like 
branches spreading across it. I just can't handle this cover. The whole thing in its entirety is just, oh, it's so beautiful, heavy breathing. But the back of it is just to die for. I love it so much. Again, clean white. I like it so much. Question eight is best chapter headers and the one that immediately popped into my mind. It also popped into my mind for the map question. That is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black that just came out. But the chapter headers in this just I love it. Fits the whole like whimsical fairy realm so well. It's just very kind of, it almost looks childish and juvenile, which makes it so much better because this is such a dark story. So when you reach a new chapter, you're like, all right, I'm in fairyland. It's supposed to be happy and pretty and people are just murdering each other left and right. I just love the chapter headers in this so much. Same with the map. The map also has really whimsical elements in it. Oh, it's just so good. Question nine is best illustrations. And with that, I'm going to go with Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shonda McGuire. This doesn't have many illustrations in it, but the ones that it does have are just so fitting for this. This has a very Tim Burton-esque feel to the story. So I think that the illustrations in here are so good. They're very... Um, soft line work and it's just usually just a very short scene in the story and it just encompasses like the feel of the story so well like this one is also really good uh, i think it just adds so much to such a short little story i just really really like the illustrations and what it did for the story question 10 is best spine and that is also another book that i just hauled recently and that is for a zero repeat forever the spine of this is just to die for like it's just so sci-fi looking i don't know i just really like really clean lines with the little dot work and how it actually includes like the cover design on like this big dandelion that is in the like melting sphere and includes that on the spine and it just looks so good and the last question is the best cover on your shelves and this is very hard to narrow down like that is that's like asking my favorite child here but I definitely have an aesthetic that I love. I have many examples. You can tell that some are missing right there because I just pulled them down. All my face outs are this style. But Wink Poppy and Midnight is probably one of my favorite covers of all time. I just love that it includes so much little busy details in it. It's so much to look at. It draws your eye everywhere and it has little things in it that are relevant to the story. Wicked Like Wildfire is exactly the same type of thing where the font is the front and center thing and it just has really nice whimsical flowers going around around it. It's very similar to Wink Poppy Midnight and I love it. And this duology does it also. The Reign of Shadows and Rise of Fire. I love these covers. Basically I think I really like incorporating nature into the covers in more of like an artsy graphic design type of way not just like a flower on the cover. I like it being like messy and chaotic looking with the words being front and center. I just love it so much. That style is my favorite type of cover that I own. So those are all of the questions in this tag. I'm gonna tag everybody. I'm not good at tagging specific people in my videos. So if you wanna do this video, do the video. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I will see you in my next one.